In our top story at 5:30, more companies, including Kroger-owned Fred Meyer stores, announce it will only allow people over the age of 21 to buy guns. Yesterday, we told you Walmart and Dick's Sporting Goods released new gun sale policies, but don't expect people boycotting one of these stores to hold out for long. A UK professor says any boost or decline in business because of the policy change will likely be short lived. ABC 36's Veronica Jean Seltzer explains why the impact on politicians could last longer. It's a conversation you've probably heard a lot this week about some of your favorite places to shop. Well, I just won't give them my business. I would support them. In person and online, people are voicing their support for or opposition to companies taking a stand on guns. Don't expect shows of support or boycott to last long. UK business professor Christopher Bollinger says consumers have relatively short memories. When this policy has been in effect for six months and the next issue du jour has come up, People are going to forget. So shopping habits might not change for long. What could see a longer term impact? Politics. Politicians have to think about something for years and years and years and years and years before they can do it. And even then, it's not clear they can, right? I mean, we all know it's a mess. Um, businesses can make decisions on, on the turn of a dime often. Sometimes those decisions can lead to bigger change because businesses have influence. Bollinger says lawmakers are often reluctant to restrict businesses if they can't see a clear benefit. But if several companies make a policy change, it could make it easier for politicians to do the same. If the firms do it, it's possible that lawmakers will say, well, great, then we'll pass it because then they can go home and say, look, we passed this law. That's likely not the goal for CEOs, though. Bollinger says choosing to make a statement is genuine, but business is business, and companies will do what will make money. Reporting in Lexington, Veronica Jean Seltzer, ABC 36 News.